Hello and welcome. In this video series, we will learn about 5G cellular networks. I am Timur, I have a PhD in radio systems and over 10 years of experience from automotive and telecom industry. We begin with a brief history of wireless communication. We will then learn the evolution of cellular technology networks starting from 1G to 5G. And slowly we go deep into the details of 5G and discuss the topics thoroughly as we get there. You may wonder what is 5G? In 5G, 5 is for fifth and G is for generation of cellular networks. So together, 5G represents the fifth generation technology standards for cellular networks. It is easy to think that it is just another G but it is not as simple as it sounds. Before we learn how difficult it is or what does it mean by 5G, let's take a look on the evolution stages of wireless technologies for mobile communication. Mobile communication systems have gone through several evolution stages in the past few decades. After the introduction of first generation mobile systems in early 1980s to the fifth generation that is happening now. In 1980s, 1G technology was revolution, which was based on analog switching, offering voice only services. System bandwidth was just 10 MHz, constituting 666 duplex channels with bandwidth of just 30 kHz. And since this system at that point in time was state of the art, but it also had a number of shortcomings. So the second generation of mobile communication system introduced a new digital technology for wireless transmission systems, also known as Global System for Mobile Communication as GSM. GSM technology become the base standard for further development in cellular standard later on. 2G was a complete digital system that introduced short messaging services called SMS. It had roaming and it also had better data rates than before. Number of shortcomings that were associated to 2G were mainly low data rate, limited mobility and less features on mobile devices. To improve on this, third generation mobile communication started with the introduction of UMTS, Universal Mobile Terrestrial Telecommunication System. UMTS has the data rate of 384 kilobits per second and it support video calling for the first time on mobile devices. 3G was good, but not good enough. So 4G came that really revolutionized our lives. 4G systems are enhanced version of 3G networks developed by IEEE and 3GPP. Offers high data rate and capable to handle more advanced multimedia services. It has compatibility with other generations and it offered scalability toward future upgrades such as LTE to LTE Advanced and LTE Advanced to LTE Advanced Pro. Call it 4.5G. 4G offers much higher data rate up to 1 gigabits per second. Enhanced mobility, security, reduced latency and HD video streaming are among the features that were brought with 4G. The voice over LTE using IP packets for voice was introduced the first time in 4G as Volte. Although 4G was good enough, but it was not the best. Due to huge demand for more connections worldwide, global mobile data traffic doubling every 18 months and there is a big need to support more and more users each day. Enormously increasing number of devices, 4G is not 
enough for the needs of today. Therefore, we definitely needed 5G. 5G proven to be an enabler for disruption that enables ultra low latency, billions of connections and tens of gigabits as data speed. This is what we call revolutionary. So we see here 5G brings a lot of different benefits but what do they mean for us or if we want to say how do they improve our lives then we have to look a little bit more deeper. We can say 5G means everything connected no matter where we are and what devices we are using. It will enable high speed connections for everyone whether sitting at home, driving in their cars or traveling in public transport like high speed railways. 5G will bring fast and uninterrupted data sharing, streaming and browsing so you never have to fight for data or miss the important things no matter when. And finally, mission critical applications such as AR, VR, connected vehicles and other services that require ultra reliable and low latency support basically based on the low latency functionality that is offered by 5G. In other words, we can say that it is almost real-time experience that 5G is going to give anywhere and every time. These features and services will enable the services like Internet of Things applications, connected vehicles for safer roads and efficient industries. And all together it means to make societies more connected more sustainable, safer, and resource efficient. To answer our main question, what is 5G? I would like to summarize this discussion as 5G is a platform for new technologies, new business models, and new industries. It will connect hundreds of billions of devices with ultra low latency down to one millisecond offering tens of gigabits per second peak data rates. In other words, 5G truly is an enabler of disruption. Hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video about 5G cellular networks. I will come back with more videos on 5G technologies and the topics that will cover the details about 5G. To follow all the videos on 5G, visit the playlist in the orange box up in the left corner. To watch the latest video on my YouTube channel, you may press the link on the blue box. If you have liked the video, do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you get notified as soon as new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon in the next one.